Hello and welcome to this week's Haver. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Diary, 25th of August 2018, Tumbeath Harbour. After lunch we decided to head for shelter out of the wind in Dumbeath Harbour. A lovely sheltered spot and we had a wonderful afternoon and evening here. We wandered around the harbour and I picked up a geocache. The weather was sunny and calm and we saw many birds and the fish were jumping in the harbour. We did not have a view to see the sunset but when the moon rose bright and orange to put on its display we had an awesome view. A thoroughly enjoyable day today once again. 26th of August 2018 Greeley Glen. We left Dumbeath Harbour heading south for Reelig Reelig Glen via Rosemarkey. We stopped for lunch at the Fairy Glen car park here. We did not walk up the glen as it was pouring with rain and the folk we saw looked like drowned rats. So after our lunch we headed on to our planned destination. We've been here before and plan to explore them more than we did in the winter visit. However, it is almost as bad weather-wise, cold and wet. Oh well. We did have a look around, but perhaps better weather tomorrow. 27th of August 2018 and it's time to head for home. Before we left, Wednesday went off to take some more photographs. I won't be long she said. Over an hour later she returned, having explored a complete new path, and so we drove home from our lovely weekend, if slightly later than planned. Welcome to another Haver. And uh, this time I thought I'd do a follow-up on the, uh, the Florida trip. Um, a few little anecdotes that happened uh, during that one uh, that uh, the other one was a little bit long already so I, I cut out but I thought I'd tell you about one of them um, it was very hot in Florida that time of year um, it was very wet amazingly it, it rained roughly the same time very hard every day and within 10-15 minutes you would never have known it had rained but that's not what this story is about during the, the time we were working and yes we did work um, the Americans had a very strict thing about wearing coveralls, your overalls, um, on the uh, on the line. And we, in hot climbs away from home, uh, were quite often down to shorts and t-shirts. But uh, the Americans didn't like that. But uh, our lineys, um, aircraft handlers, um, for those that don't know, basically um, they called them flight line mechanics. Um, or lineys and they were usually the um, SACs and JTs uh, of the various trades and specific trade of flight line mechanic but however we, we had aircraft handlers that would see in and see out the aircraft and their, their job was to bring it in, chock it etc and they spent an awful lot of time out on the pan in the hot weather doing the after flight and before flight servicings as well now, it was hot and they wanted to be in shorts and t-shirts as is our want. Um, it was alright for us in the indoors, um, unless we were outdoors for the short time we were out because uh, we were in an air conditioned building, but they were out in the heat, the full Florida heat. So their solution, we had what they call squippers, survival equippers with us, whose job was to service the aircraft, sorry, the air crew uh, survival equipment. Uh, quick on suits, life jackets, uh, that kind of thing. So uh, there they were um, with all their kit to repair these things. Uh, so after two days of being uh, shouted at by American policemen and what have you, um, Marines on guard and that kind of thing, our lineys teed up the survival equippers. Next day they appeared out on the line in their overalls. Overalls which had been cut off short both in the leg and the sleeve and stitched up by the Air Force survival equipment people. Uh, yep, one nil to the lineys and one over the American 
uh, marines and other guards at uh, the base. Um, and the detachment continued fine, the lineys were happy and we think the guards were happy. Anyway, just a quick haver um, and a more chat about my time in the RAF. Bye for now. Thanks for watching this week's Desmond's Haver. We hope you enjoyed it and don't forget there is a Donder on a Friday and a Haver next Tuesday. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.